Hello, this is Jeff T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us again at Service Management Leadership. Today's topic is specifically for leaders in the thought of continual service improvement. In the ITIL books, you'll see a reference to a Deming model. Mr. Deming had this model that he used in the manufacturing world, I think it was in the automobile manufacturing, and now that one little model is stolen by the Lean people, the Six Sigma people, the ITIL people, everybody stole it. Why? Because it's simple. Plan, do, check, act. So let's talk about it. You find a gap in your ITSM process. Maybe all of our calls to service desk aren't being recorded. Maybe not, people don't call the service desk. They just call Joe who supports that application and we want to reroute them to the service desk or to a service request module on our ITSM tool, right? That sounds like reasonable. It's our first to third level support shouldn't be taking those calls. Anyway, so back on track. So let's talk about it. We, we identify a gra uh, gap in our process or on how it's being used. So we plan, we figure out what the gap is. We do, we design the process we check, we go through QA, and then we act, we implement. So what we do is we create this, and after we act and implement, then we go back to the plan stage, so that CSI is a continual service improvement. And I say that because you have this gap that's this big, you want it to be this big, and you just keep making it smaller and smaller. So you find this gap, you put your plan in production, then you go back and you plan, you assess again, plan it again, do it again, check it again, act again, and you keep doing this over and over until you get the results you want. Since it was in the manufacturing world that Mr. Deming lived, his whole thing was how do I, how do I reduce this space so I can get more efficient and more efficient? We in the ITSM world, we want that same thing, don't we? So we want higher first call resolution in our service desk. We want a better percentage of our changes to go into production without disruption. We want our incident and service request tickets to be routed cleanly to the right person the first time. See all these ways that we can bridge that gap. And if, you want, if you're looking for ideas on how to put CSI into production, this is a quick and dirty trick. Go in the ITIL books which you can find online, you can have the paper copy, whatever. Look in the process and look into the activities. So the activities are what happen within each process. And so look at those activities and see if that is what you want to measure and then put the dimming model on. And so I want to, we'll have other videos on how to measure, but the dimming model is how do we measure it and then reduce the inefficiency and create efficiency. And so this is a quick video about CSI and we'll have more about other ways to do this, uh, to do other ways of uh, continual service improvement. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I thank you for joining our channel. Please like or share this video, subscribe to the channel, give us some feedback. We thank you for joining us. We hope you have a great day. Goodbye.